learns in this video we are going to see basic system properties and properties related to memory we will see in this video So we'll see a systems with and without memory. Let's define a system which is a memoryless. System is said to be memoryless if its output for each value of the independent variable at a given time is dependent only on the input at that same time so the keywords are this a system is said to be a memoryless when the output depend only on the input at that same time example y of n is 2x of n minus x square n whole square though it is looking like a very complicated uh, equation but still see here i want a y of n and y of n is obtained only by knowing x of n means suppose i want y of 0 so i just need to know what is x of 0 i want to have y of 2 I just need to know what is there at n equal to 2 in the input signal so output at any instant depend upon whatever the input is present at that particular instant only that is what a memoryless system memoryless system is also called as static system Sometimes we may use the word static system. It's nothing but a memoryless system. Memory is not required because output depend only on the input at that particular instant. Let's write an equation for system with memory. So example of a system with memory. A simple example is a uh, delay any sequence for example a delay of input signal means system represented by this y of n is nothing but x of n minus 1 see the problem now suppose I want to know what is y of 0 as per the system equation y of 0 is nothing but x of minus 1 what conclusion we can draw to get a y of 0 I should know what is the input at n equal to minus 1 so output 
depends on previous value of input so in order to know the previous value of input memory is required so obviously this system is a system with a memory also called as a dynamic system So let's take an example in a continuous time domain. Uh, once again, I will take an example of a register. So register is there, and for the register, I'm having a current I of t. So that it will give a voltage V of t. I can say V of t is a system with equation R into I of t. So at any instant of time t, if I want to know the voltage across the register, I just need to know what is the current flowing through the register at that particular instant. But suppose I'm having inductor and the current flowing through it, let's take it's I of t. And L is the value. Here also voltage will be developed which is VL T. So in this case, suppose I need to know what is the voltage across inductor, it has VL T equal to, it's a differential term L di by dt. But doing so, one more thing I need to know, and that thing is that in this I of T, I should know what is the initial value of inductor current meaning the exact equation will be l into i0 the thing is that in order to know the voltage of an inductor i need to know what is the current flowing before switching this inductor that means uh, initial value of the current flowing through the inductor is known it should be known so right over here initial value of current through inductor must be known so i can say initial value should be known that means i need to have a memory hence this system will be a dynamic but this system will be static so this is static and this is dynamic so in this video we have seen based on the memory required or not system can be classified as static and dynamic static means memory less do not require memory output depends only on the present value of input whereas dynamic is a system with a memory can be depends upon the previous or future values of the input hence it's called as a system which is a dynamic required memory thank you